thought I would switch it up today and just do a full try on haul video because I feel like it's just been so long since I've done that. So we're getting crazy. I'm excited. I love these outfits so much. So thank you again to Princess Polly for partnering with me again on this video. They just got the best stuff on trend pieces, but still really good quality. Oh, I also got a discount code for you guys. So 20% off if you use the code here on the screen. I will also link it in the description box below as well as all my sizing and links for everything. So you can do your own haul. Starting off with the pants that I'm wearing right now because they are so comfortable and I'm so happy that I got them. <laughs> They're these navy and white pinstripe pants. Pinstripe pants. That's a fun phrase to say. Pinstripe pants. I tend to wear jeans constantly. Like that's always what I grab whenever I'm running out the door. So I wanted something that was still gonna be comfortable, but still like goes with everything in my closet. You know what I mean? They're funky, fresh, and fun. These are the pants that I've been wearing to the coffee shop in the morning. Cause normally I just a pile and wear sweatpants, which I also have a really cute sweatpants set that I'll show you next. But these just make me feel more elevated. I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm classy, I'm chic, not wearing sweatpants, but I still feel like I am. These definitely run true to size. I would not size up or down. They're so so freaking perfect. Actually, before I show you the sweatpants set I got, I wanted to show you this top that I also paired with it because I thought it looked so cute with these pants. I love me a good crop top. I pretty much live in them, but especially during the spring and summer. So had to pick up a new one because I love that this was a mix between just like a little ribbed crop top moment, but also kind of a graphic tee, really lightweight and stretchy and just definitely gonna be a nice go-to top for me, especially with these pants. Because I mentioned sweat sets and that I pretty much live in matching sets. I just had to get a new one. And who says, you can't live in sweats in the spring. Not me. This is the one that I picked up. I am so obsessed with this. I've been wearing this nonstop. Like someone take this away from me because it's getting a little ridiculous at this point. Like, does she have anything else in her closet? That's for you to decide. You know, if you're looking for a good sweat set, I, I just highly recommend this. Like you cannot go wrong because this is so soft. Like, holy crap, so incredibly warm. Feels like a fleece blanket inside. And we love good sportsmanship representation on here. Play the game, be a good sport. What an iconic message. And I was reading reviews and trying to decide on the sizing. So I ended up going with the US 8 for the sweatshirt. I feel like I could have gone maybe one or two sizes up. For the sweatpants, I ended up going a couple sizes up in this as well because I read the reviews and they were all saying that if you got your normal size, it was like way too tight. Size up to a US 8 on this as well. And I feel like it's perfect. Might as well dive into the rest of what I'm wearing. So first let's talk about this top because it's actually part of a matching set moment. They're sold separately, but they go really well together and they're styled together on the website. So I was like, you know what? I need you. 10 out of 10, obsessed with this top. I love a little black bandeau kind of crop top moment because I feel like I've been wearing these constantly with blazers like I'm wearing right now, but they obviously look good on its own, especially when it gets warmer out and you just want to wear a cute little matching set, but you can get so much wear out of this, not just wearing it with the matching skirt. Obviously looks adorable with jeans, black leather pants, but I thought the strap detailing was so much fun. And then the side is actually like a drawstring so you can make it as tight or loose as you want to. And you can also like tuck the bottom of the strings into it if you don't want it to be showing. And this is the skirt that I paired it with and it's super stretchy. It kind of reminds me of those platform sandals that were super in in the early 2000s, which means, you know, it's probably like in right now, like same exact vibe. But how cute is this little set? And then also just throwing this blazer over top of it, I thought was such a fun look. I've been loving wearing an oversized blazer lately. Like this is pretty much my go-to everyday outfit. If I'm leaving the house, I'm probably 90% of the time wearing a blazer and I'm not mad about it. So I knew I had to have this one in my life because it was oversized, kind of that relaxed fit. And also I just didn't have any of this color. It also has these like built-in shoulder pads in it, but they're not like too crazy. Like I feel like you can't really tell. Pretty sure I got an extra small in this and it's still this oversized. So PSA, do not size up in this blazer, <laughs> okay? This is like a size down and it's already this oversized, but I love this so much. And it also has a button. So if you wanna wear it kind of as like a blazer dress, I mean, it doesn't have like two buttons. So you probably would still have to wear like a skirt underneath this or a dress. I love this blazer. It's a moment. While I have been obsessed with blazers, I could not pass up this leather jacket because it was perfection. I always get black jackets and black leather jackets and like the same thing, just like slightly different font, you know? But I added this to my cart so fast because I just don't have anything this color. And I thought this would be just so fun because I've been wearing so many neutral and brown outfits lately. So welcome to the fam. But how cute is the shape of this jacket? I thought it was like the perfect amount of oversized, but still kind of cropped looking. And you can also use the belt to like zip it together and have like a whole nother look if you wanna wear this just as a top. And I got this 
in a size small. I think it's perfect. I'm gonna be wearing this so much. Another huge trend right now is corset tops and I've been slowly getting more and more because I just cannot pass it up. I feel like they're so flattering, so fun, but I would categorize this as kind of a corset top, but I could not pass this one up. I thought this was such a cute top. I've already worn it like three times and I just got these. So flattering, it's really comfortable. It has a zipper in the back and the shape of this top was just super interesting and unique to me. And I also love the piping detailing. Hopefully you can see that in the close up. Love this top so much. And I paired them with another big trend right now, which are cargo pants. Now I know this is either a hit or miss for people. People are like very pro cargo pant or anti cargo pant. And you know what? That is a okay with me. I used to be very against cargo pants. So I was like, this is not not coming back. Then they started making them really cute and I just, I had to have them. I don't know, right now I've just really been gravitating towards like tight or corset tops or bandeau tops with a cargo pant because it just looks really flattering and balances each other out to have like a baggy pant and then a really tight top. I don't know, I find it flattering. I really like it. This outfit is giving Kim Possible meets 2022. So call me, beat me if you want to reach me. I will be in my cargo pants. These are a little bit long on me, but if I wear heels with them, they're not too bad, but I still feel like I will get them hemmed a little bit, but I am going to be exchanging these for a size smaller. I was kind of debating between my normal size two and a four. I I thought I would go with a four because they're cargo. So I wanted them to be a little bit oversized, but I think they're naturally an oversized fit. So I would say go true to size on these, unless you want them to be an extra baggy, then you can see what this looks like when it's one size up. I would consider these more of like a mid rise pant regardless, such good quality. I feel like I'll wear them with so many different things. The perfect color for spring. So we're switching it up. I'm trying to branch out from just my jeans. I also got another crop top because hello, I'm consistent. I know myself and I gravitate towards the same kind of formula when it comes to a lot of my outfits. Fits, so I figure might as well get another black crop top. This is me trying to justify having so many black crop tops. Definitely very cropped. So if you have bigger boobs than myself, I would say maybe size up because it's uh, kind of pushing it right now, but we love it. I don't know. I thought the shape of this was really fun because it's like a V-neck, but super wide. And the cap sleeve was such a cute little touch. And then I paired it with these pants, which I am so so dead over. These might be my favorite things, even though I am exchanging it for a different size, but these are some shiny black tuxedo pants is what they're called. And oh my God, I'm obsessed with these. Like how fun would these be for a night out? These are so hot. I love that they have the same vibe as like a leather or faux leather pant, but switches it up. It's a little bit different. She's unique. She's not like other girls. It's got a little stretch, which I so much appreciate. And it's actually the perfect length on me, which is shocking. Pants are always, you know, a toss up for someone who is a little bit shorter, but I feel like going one size up will just overall fit me a lot better. I'm gonna be wearing these nonstop because they're so comfortable. And the last outfit I have is this cute little matching set. I mean, I'm just a sucker for a matching set. But I thought the set was so perfect for spring because it's obviously more of a warmer weather outfit being a little bralette, biker short type moment, but it's still a ribbed material like a sweater. So it feels really warm and comfortable. So as Hannah Montana would say, you get the best of both worlds. I got the small medium in these and I feel like they fit pretty perfectly. It's a little bit loose on the top, but nothing too crazy, but it's so soft and comfortable. And I paired it with, again, my blazer. Shocking, because I would probably wear it out with something over it. So I thought this blazer looked so cute. It makes you look more chic. Lastly, I picked up some new black sunglasses because I do not know what happened to mine. RIP, I had some angular sunglasses that pretty much all my friends have, you know, the ones. They went missing in January and they have not been found since. But I love the shape of these. I feel like they look so saucy. I'm like, get a clue, there's nothing you can do. Don't I look like a saucy spy? It's a whole mood. Do not lose these, Caitlin. I will be so pissed at you. But that is the haul, you guys. That is what I got from Princess Polly for the spring. I love these outfits so much. So let me know if you're gonna get any of these pieces. Like, I wanna know what we're gonna match. And again, everything from this haul will be linked down in the description box below along with my sizing, any colors, and I'll note if it's like true to size or if you should size up or down. Thank you so much again to Princess Polly for partnering with me on this video. I love you so much. Oh, and don't forget to use my 20% off code. Save yourself some money. Again, it's on screen and I will also put it in the description box below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Mwah!